coming back to that due factor uh it's not often as you said kohli mentions it we know the history we know teams india when uh, they were defending 382 and he mentioned that at the toss yeah. they had a bit of a hard time even defending that have a look at the results yeah against england that one wasn't it um 15 runs defending 380 <laughs> you start to get a little bit twitchy when that sort of thing happens obviously they blew uh, sri lanka away uh, it, it's tough i mean i, I know these these day night fixtures you've got sides winning the toss and 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 bowling they don't always win the game but the dew does play a big role in it and sometimes it's just the quality of opposition that you're up against that can't really compete with a a quality indian side and that that's probably half the battle i i just i, I worry about the fact that um you know they the toss dictates the nature exactly. of the game and, and that, that's my biggest issue with this yeah let's go back to defining how do you define a sport technically you define a sport as where the conditions are equal for both yeah. teams and here the conditions if it if the outright favor crosses that 10% and it does cross in places like katak it, it goes far beyond that you know you have to compensate for it but again as he said it that doesn't mean you'll win every match chasing but that means it's just going to be that much tougher to win a uh, batting first and therefore i think really in places like katak you're just pushing that and saying that this it becomes a lottery and the less the game is a lottery and the more it is a game of skill the better of the game is football being the perfect example dimensions are the same yes you'll have the crowd factor in in a home game yeah. no matter what you're talking about which is why f1 is gets into this trouble and they're saying that they need to regulate the engines and all that because they feel that a car's engine superiority should not make a difference in somebody winning consistently all the time that's why f1 sits on the edge where something like football basketball they all sit slap in the middle you know the old talk about the horse and the jockey yeah exactly yeah it's the same thing again <laughs> which yeah. one it is but again in terms of, of of a precedent we did mention on our show the other day that maybe television timings maybe about appointment viewing that you don't want to tinker with the timings but we've had a precedent more than once the one that comes to mind 2017 dharamshala mohali 2 odi starting at 11:30 yeah. the one at vizag because of uh, going down south started at 1:30 no problem yeah and and there's enough information it, out as there as long as it's world. decided early enough uh and if you're going to play one day internationals at this time of year then i say you know play a day game if you're going to play in certain areas where the dew is such a massive a- and a sunday factor, and on a sunday and a weekend play a day game i know it's it's going to be warm but it's nowhere near as warm as it is in april may june uh, so it's still it's still cool enough to play a day game and and there's nothing wrong I love a day one day game you know rather than a day night game you just you're going back to to the old style I know where the lights don't come on but you know on a sunday with work tomorrow on a monday everyone's home at 7 o'clock at night 6:30 7 o'clock at night you can take the families you can have a great day out I I re- I love a day game of cricket and the weather is good i mean katak yeah. not too not too far away from kolkata it's it's winter it's actually good weather for a day game no, no, i fully agree i think i fully agree with this mm. point of again, again they're going to go back they're going to listen to you and go do do this again because, you know <laughs> you're the man who decides what happens in cricket next yeah. year in, in any case so I, I, again I television numbers this, aren't yeah. television numbers aren't quite as good during day games and that that's proven but at the end of the day you want a fair contest and i think if you're going to play at this time of the year then then a fair contest is possibly a, a day game where the toss does not dictate now let's say india had lost the toss and and an unfair advantage ensued and i mean i know we're we're being professors here but they lost the game it's they're all going to blame the dew they're all going to say oh well it was too dewy we couldn't hold on to the ball that's going to be the case well they've won the toss so we're not going to hear too much about it yeah but i mean so yeah sorry to uh, to continue on the point about the about the day game i mean you're having a situation where if you put that pressure if you put that pressure every time and say on the venue that you know this is the dew factor take it away if you have yeah. that you know there's enough difficulty organizing a match without you having to you know bargain for something that you really have no control over remember one more thing they have very few day night matches through the year so the ability of the curators in katak to say for example look after the ground during a day night game is always under stress you don't have that many people out there so that's the basic problem this is not the one k day we are playing you know 35 40 you know day night matches a year something or the other is always on you have that system right there and these are all issues and in fact the last time i think we had a proper day game was because the lights were not ready in kanpur <laughs> so i mean there are different reasons for having a day game rather than the right reason to say that look it's not ideal post 6 pm let's get it knocked off before that yeah. oh, look i i agree and, and sometimes of the year you've got to play day night games in india because it's too hot it, it's ridiculous it's oppressive you know some of those afternoon temperatures so at this time of the year though i mean it, it's nice it's actually pleasant 
you know, really pleasant. It's not too hot at all. So I think a day game on a weekend is, and it's nice just leading up to Christmas. You don't want to take away people's night times.